When I first saw the Marie's Racers, I think that, like most people, I just saw another racer. And for the most part, they are. They are uh, rubber racers. But when I got to play around with them and actually looked at the packaging, I realized they were a lot more than just that. They are specific erasers for creating highlight and detail. And they all have very good edges and a very durable feel. Like I'm applying a pretty good amount of pressure there, and you can see that they're pretty tough. The reason for each shape is just whichever one feels best in your hand. So for me, the, uh, the oval shape felt pretty comfortable. So I have my little tree trunk here, and we're gonna just come in and erase out some of that graphite that I had laid down so that I can kind of show you how these can be used for creating highlights. Believe me, they're, you know, they're perfectly good at just erasing as just an eraser. There's lots of erasing options though. These are uniquely cut for the highlighting ability. So as you can see here, there's some smudging. I would just come in and take that out. Now I have a circle here and we want to turn it into a sphere. Well, to turn a circle into a sphere, you got to find a point of light and that point of light will make the object look more round than flat. And we're going to simulate that by taking up some of the graphite. I'll just start in one area and this will be my point of light. What I'll do is I'll start going tougher in the center and then I'll slowly kind of lighten my grip as the light would diffuse off the side of it to make a more circular shape up here. And as you can see, through negative work, you can kind of make a sphere out of a circle. Really sharp, crisp edges uh, make it much easier to control. I find that the rubber of these erasers are particularly resilient, thicker than, than most uh, rubber erasers on the market. So these are the Marie's erasers designed for your highlighting needs. Give them a try.